wanted something so badly that you would not stop trying to get it? What about a position of responsibility or an award that seems just out of reach? We might be tempted to be presumptuous or arrogantly take what we think we deserve. The example of Abimelech is a warning not to go too far. First, who is he? Let's turn to Judges 8, 31. His concubine and Shechem also bore him a son, and he named him Abimelech. So from this verse, we know that Abimelech is the son of Gideon. Who was Gideon? Gideon is known for promoting pure worship and removing false idols. Gideon displayed trust in Jehovah. With seven other brothers, how could Abimelech ever have the fame of his father? Would Abimelech's course be in the shadow of his father's well-built reputation? Let's read Judges 9 2. Please ask all the leaders of Shechem, which is better for you, for all seventy sons of Jerobeel to rule over you, or for one man to rule over you? And remember that I am your own bone and flesh. So Abimelech basically said, Make you, me your ruler because I'm your relative. Why is this wrong? Being one of seventy brothers, what makes him qualified to be ruler? What, why not his oldest brother? Abimelech's mother was not Gideon's wife, but a slave, making him least likely to inherit his father's position. So he thought he could rule just because he was the relative. Notice what happens next in Judges 9, 4 and 5. Then he gave... Then they gave him seventy pieces of silver from the house of Balfireth, and Abimelech used it to hire idle and insolent men to accompany him. After that, he went to his brother's house at Ophrah and killed his brothers, the sons of Jerobeel, seventy men on one stone. The only survivor was Jotham, the youngest son of Jerobeel, because he hid. How terrible and violent. He hired good-for-nothing men to kill his own brothers. Nowhere does it say he was seeking God's direction or trying to earn a high position. In fact, by killing his brothers, he proved himself as a bad leader. This presumptuous course led to an even greater sin. Notice verse 4. <coughs> so all the people also cut off branches and, fo and followed Abimelech. Then they put the branches against the vault and set the vault on fire. So all the people of the Tower of Shechem also died, about 1,000 men and women. Now the city he was ruler of is destroyed by himself, and it doesn't stop there. Notice verse 53 and 54. Then one of the women dropped an up for millstone on Abimelech's head and crushed his skull. He quickly called the attendant bearing his weapons and said, Draw your sword and put me to death so that they may not say about me, a woman killed him. So his attendant ran him through, and he died. Because he was ashamed of being killed by a woman, he asked to be killed by his attendant. He wanted so bad to rule that he lost everything he had, even his father's reputation, and there was no one left to fix that. How should we apply this? Abimelech wanted his positions, a posi wanted his positions so bad he was willing to kill. In the end, he was left with nothing, not even his own life. Surely none of us would kill, but how far would we go? Would we hurt a reputation, lie, or cheat? Instead, we should have a good attitude and be prayerful, because presumptuousness leads to disaster. <laughs>